we're doing a dissection today on what organ? Oh, the, heart. the heart. Did you all come up with some questions recently? You wondered how the heart beat. How does a heartbeat go? <laughs> bum, 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 bum. It doesn't go bum, bum, bum. It goes bum, 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 bum. And that is actually the sound of the valves closing. And you've got two sets of valves. You've got the valves between the atria and the ventricles, and then you've got the ones jetting out. So you, the, the first one set, you know, the, the atrioventricular valves, and then the other set, you know, the pulmonary artery, you know, the pulmonary valve and the uh, aortic valve. Which one is the oxygenated blood? The red. And which one is the blue? The one without oxygen. Does everybody have a red and blue pipe cleaner? A pair of scissors and a pair of forceps. Okay, we're going to also get a fancy dancy pair of safety goggles. Start on this. Okay, ready? Everybody say pig heart. Pig heart. Now this is the big moment. I'm going to pass out the heart. Without opening the heart, I want you to look at it, observe it. See all the different vessels? something that they see. The aorta. You see the aorta. Hmm, what's that? It takes the blood around the body. Takes the blood around the body. What else do you see? The vena cava. What else do you see? You see the fat around that, right? Did we find out that some fat around the heart is healthy, right? Yeah, some hot fat around the heart is healthy. When you stick your fingers in them, can you feel the valves? You can feel the valves. See the heart strings? And the valves, everybody look for the valves. Okay, now think about this. What, so what are the valves for? What are the valves for, you guys? Somebody. Making sure the blood only goes one way. Yeah, making sure it goes in the right direction. I mean, if you, if you, so if you didn't have a mitral valve, what would happen? It would go back, it would go forwards and backwards. Look for the coronary artery and the coronary vein. Take your finger and follow it down. So the coronary arteries supply oxygen to the heart muscle itself. You know, the heart's busy supplying everybody else with blood to, you know, and oxygen. It needs to get oxygen too. So it gets oxygen from the coronary arteries. The right side's gonna be a little softer. The reason being is because what does the left ventricle have to do? Have to pump it out to the entire body. Okay, so the, the right ventricle is smaller because it only has to go pump it to where? From the heart to the lungs. Two, three, go ahead and open. Oh, it looks like a real heart right here. to take the blue pipe cleaner and point to the right atrium and right ventricle. Can you tell that the right atrium is considerably smaller? So we have done the vena cava into the right atrium and right ventricle. Now you are going to take your red pipe cleaner and locate your left atrium and your left ventricle. Why is the left ventricle thicker than the right ventricle? Is it what you thought it would be? No. 
No? no. What, what's different than you thought it would be, Alyssa? I thought it would be smaller. You thought it would be smaller? Yeah. McKevin, what's different than you thought? I thought it would be redder, like inside. You thought it would be redder inside? Okay, there's your one. Okay, everybody's good. You made it. Are you proud of yourself? You are a risk taker, aren't you? Oh. When we do make the first cut, it is going to squirt, okay? So we're gonna keep it down in the trays. Everybody understand? Okay, here come your eyeballs. Yes. Go ahead and put it in your hand. Feel it. Don't squeeze too hard, of course. We ready? Safety goggles on. Safety gloves on. Apron on. Everybody's got a pair of scissors, everybody's got a tray, and everybody's got a cow eye. Squeeze it so that it's bulged out, okay? All right? And one of you is going to take, make it a bulge, okay? And you're going to snip it just like, you know, you know how when you go to cut a circle in a piece of paper, you just snip? Keep it down in the tray because, ladies and gentlemen, there's going to be juice. All right, so uh, you guys got, have the cornea off? Okay, so now, so if you lift up the cornea or remove the cornea, you look inside and you can see, you can, we're pouring out that liquid, that's called aqueous humor. Um, aqueous meaning like watery. And you can look in and you can see the iris, you know, the, the, that the rim around there, just, you know, the colored part of our eyes is actually a muscle. It's called the iris and that's Greek for, for it means rainbow in Greek. So, so our pretty eyes are, you know, Greeks consider like the them God. rainbows, yeah. Cut it into two. Do not take anything out. And remember how she crunched the cornea. Remember that's this right here. Just here if you can crunch it. Just stab it down into it. The blue part, uh-huh. Part in there that looks like it has a bunch of little lines. She peeled that out. Be very careful so you can try and keep that as a whole piece. So the iris is a muscle and the pupil is not a, a, a black structure. It's just actually, it's actually a hole in the middle of your, your uh, iris that is allowing the light to pass through it. And that hole changes size based to accommodate the amount of light that you need. So the lens has some gooey stuff attached to it, right? And it's not, it, it, there's a special kind of a little muscle, it's called the ciliary body and that's what does the focusing of the lens. And you can pull that off if you want to just get a better look at that lens. You can just clean off you know, the gooey stuff off of it. Now, the black stuff in there um, is part of the retina. You know, and the retina actually is a coating, you know, it's a layer of cells coating the back part of the eye. The shiny bluish stuff thing you know, they, as she described as the tapetum. And this is uh, in, in all animals that, that uh, have good night vision. And we don't need that. We actually are, you know, we're optimized to see things as best as possible during the day. Um, and actually it would kind of interfere a little bit with our daytime vision if we had that. Pretty cool? Yes. It's not as gross as you thought it was going to be, is it? And you have just dissected a cow's eye. Give yourself a round of applause. Why is doing a dissection important? Doing a dissection is important because you learn uh, about life around you. That's amazing. Bailey, what do you have to say? I think doing a di dissection is important because you get to learn all the different body parts and, and organs in an animal. Today, um, we dissected a pig heart and a cow eye. So, what were some of the IV traits that you said? Well, Nina, today, when we were dissecting, I thought we were being thinkers and being inquirers, being able to learn how to work with a partner on dissecting, and we were using our minds to figure out what were the different like different things in the heart and the eye. Well, Nina, what do you think you shared? Well, 
I think we were being open-minded um, and learning about all the different um, all the different parts of the heart and the eye. And I think we were being a thinker and just thinking about what we were doing. And um, I thought we were being com we were a communicator and principled. <laughs> I, I actually also think we were being a risk taker because that was sort of a little gross and you know some people couldn't even do it because it just sort of freaked them out and we are being definitely being a risk taker for trying out new things just to be able to learn some new education. <laughs>